Was that initial excitement all just a fictitious, if thrilling, children's story? Or is the next chapter for Steve Jobs likely to be his gaudiest? What should we expect next from Pixar? Well, you know, Toy Story uh, has really exceeded our expectations. It's, it's about $180 million right now, I think, at domestic box office. It's being released internationally uh, as we speak. And we're coming out with some CD-ROMs based on Toy Story starting in April. And they're, they're dynamite. I think they're going to pretty much set a new benchmark for what can be done with CD-ROMs. Home Video was expected later on this year, and we're well at work on our second film. We're about a year into development on it. So I think we, we have a business model which is that we make feature films and surround them with a suite of related products. Uh, in addition to merchandise and home video, there's CD-ROMs and potentially, you know, sequels at some point in time. You first came to public attention with Apple. Mm -hmm. In recent weeks, it's been one of the failure stories of Wall Street and indeed of the American economy. What went wrong at Apple? Oh, gosh. Um, you know, Apple, I haven't been there in a long time, but my perception we is... We won't blame you for what's happened in the last <laughs> 10 years. Yeah, no, I mean, my perception <laughs> may not be complete, but uh, from the way I see it, I mean, Apple was a company that was based on innovation. When I left Apple 10 years ago, we, we were 10 years ahead of anybody else. It took Microsoft 10 years to copy Windows. The problem was is that, that Apple stood still. Even though it invested cumulatively billions in R&D, the output has not been there and people have caught up with it and its differentiation has, has eroded in particular with respect to Microsoft and so the way out for Apple and I still think Apple has a future uh, there's some awfully good people there and there's a tremendous brand loyalty to that company I think the way out is not to slash and burn it's to innovate that's how Apple got to its glory and I think that's how Apple could return to it next which is your private venture specializes in what's called object-based software. Could you right. explain that to someone who's not a computer nerd? Sure. Um, the way that we, most people still build software today, uh, they build, everything's custom, really. Everything's built by hand and everything's custom. And there's no ability to reuse software that you had written prior or that somebody else had written. And objects are a way to basically allow people to reuse software an order of magnitude or two more efficiently than they can today. It's sort of the industrial revolution of software. Is this on a grander scale the equivalent of calling up a macro on the computer? Uh, it's even much beyond that. It's sort of interchangeable parts, much like the industrial revolution brought to, to, to the manufacturing of hard goods. You have talked about Apple somewhat gently. You've also mentioned Microsoft. Much of your current efforts seem directed at constraining Microsoft. Is that accurate? Me? On the, on no. The, you have, well, I, I, I've read some of these yeah. computer nerd publications lately, and it seems to me that the fight for the Internet you envision is anybody but Bill Gates. Well, I think there's a lot of people working on stuff for the Internet, and, uh, and Next is one of those, those companies as well. And for me, the most exciting thing you know, in the software area is the Internet, and part of the reason for that is no one owns it. It's a free-for-all. It's, it's much like the early days of the, of the personal computer and the rate of innovation is very high and we we know from experience now that if any one company gets a dominant position in it uh... no matter who that is the rate of innovation is going to going to drop precipitously and we'd like to not see that happen uh... for forever and or at least for quite some time I assume as a good entrepreneur you want the market to limit him not the government is that correct uh... yeah i i don't get into that so much i i you know i think i admire microsoft for their achievements and i think though that the net may be something that is you know we're gonna see innovation contain them and uh, I'm hoping that's the case I wonder if Steve Jobs is relaxing on this holiday weekend or figuring out how to make his next trillion I guess it's tough at the top but it can be beautiful too last Christmas we gave our viewers a sneak advance peek at some items from the most publicized auction in history Sotheby's sale of Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis's property. The CEO of Sotheby's, D.D. Brooks, brought down some special treasures for your eyes only. <laughs>